Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tommy. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. When Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. Whatever it takes, Tom. destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off a New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our... Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, Spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own Lost Heaven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rival the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plotteds and column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, he may well be the key man that brings the Wisman Trophy back to lost heaven. But doing so will be no easy task, as standing in his way is opposition captain Foghorn Jack Seidel. His sorrowful run of the bottom of the fifth inning of King Time Tournament in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was canceled out by the Lancers in Game 6, and we now have a powder keg finale that is sure to have everyone glued to their radios. Can Bunny Smith bring it home for Lost Heaven? Or will the Cannon's towering redhead have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. And now, back to some of the latest musical numbers. 
The mission of Loft Heaven Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to serve you. Ciao. Everything okay, Tom? Nah. No, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see French straight away. He didn't tell the Tom? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? We return now to the coverage of Game 7 of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion more than any other could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seem to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. There's a reason the racers of the Lost Heaven Grand Prix use only Trago motor oil, and that's because only Trago makes engines perform at their maximum while guarding against wear and tear. For optimal performance, Trago lets you go, go, go. Like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. 
a quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters to. set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the Gold Series, which at one stage had appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then, standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. Be some what kind of meat happening. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. That's ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure, not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up, and that's two. There was zip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike. Ah, uh, shit. Win. They dig near the airport, it, Frank. Surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cat in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win the 1933 Gold Series! A job well done depends on tools and materials that aren't going to let you down. At Edmunds, all items are guaranteed to be of the highest quality and best price locally. For fixtures, paints, lumber, and more, visit Edmunds Tools, home of the Edmunds Price Guarantee. This is 570 AM, Lost Heaven Radio. Thank you for listening. Flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. and forced me out. Hey, cop, how long is this going to take? Airport's closed to the public.
We all want the same thing. Can't say I'm happy dealing with these people. Hey, this guy's not one of them. waiting for Coletti in order to hang this Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. 
His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. the safety deposit boxes with my colleague downstairs sir thanks Access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Moreau let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. 
Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to one of the... Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Okay, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Si. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Excelente. view up here. A volte questo paese è estupendo. Ecco, entriamo da lì. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto.
standing around, I guess. That's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Sono qui, Tommy! Guy's a pain in the ass. Forza, vieni con me. Tommy, I hear. Sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? C'è un'entrata. Open. Kick. What kind of luck picker are you? Look for a dipinto. A uh, what? But, um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio. Uh, hai capito? Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Sì, sì. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. Sure, it's behind one of these Salvatore. Sempre di valore al procuratore piacciela. Who are you? <coughs> Someone help us! <coughs> Stay. <coughs> Pinto. 
non quello. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. They gotta be upstairs. I'm safe in it. Oh. Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal with him. Eyes open, eh? Over here! Gotta be upstairs. The safe's in his study. Ah! Uh. Thank you. 
like this? <clears throat> Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal with him! Shoot him! Move it to cover! <laughs> gotcha! Burn him! Fire! Uh, uh, uh. Gotta be upstairs. Well, the safe's in his study. Running for cover. Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal with him! Get him! Get over here now! Gotta reload! Throw some flames! Get round them! Get your first time. Forza! Andiamo to that! Presto! Semina gli sfiri! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Police? Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six and uh, Naples. Okay, let's go.
Tommy, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' d'italiano per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so, ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh, sure. The last shit of good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the John... We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. One of the boys. Damn and little Bill said to meet him downtown. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shit yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just... You got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on Morello winning us? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named a Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till so then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ.
Watch the roof! Watch it! I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Come on, let's go! What's the hold up? Come on, let's go! This seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Holly, good to see you, pal. Yeah. Gates took a bullet. This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go! So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up! Move up their side! 